Derek was 48, proud, and stubborn. A traits that had served him well as a sales executive but not so well when it came to his health, diagnosed with hypertension five years earlier, Derek ignored his doctor's constant warnings. You're not 25 anymore, Derek. Your heart can't take surprises. But tonight, he wasn't thinking about blood pressure. He was thinking about Maria. She was 10 years younger, full of energy, and made him feel like the man he used to be. They'd been dating for a few months, and things were going well. Too well, maybe. Tonight was going to be special, he told himself. A romantic dinner, soft jazz, a few drinks. And then, he hoped, a night to remember. In the back of his medicine cabinet sat a little blue pill. He had never taken it before. He remembered the ad. Confidence in a tablet. Derek glanced at his own prescription bottles. One for lisinopril, the other a beta blocker, then back at the Viagra. His hands trembled slightly as he swallowed the pill. Maria arrived, radiant and excited. The evening played out like a scene from a movie, candlelight, laughter, stolen glances across the table. Derek felt good, he felt young, but as the night progressed, his chest began to tighten. Back at his apartment, the pressure grew. He smiled through it, trying to focus on Maria. She leaned in, kissed him. But then his vision blurred, sweat poured from his forehead. He felt a sharp pain down his left arm. Derek, she said, looking worried, noticing his ashen face. Derek, are you okay? He tried to answer, but couldn't. His knees buckled, and he collapsed onto the floor. Paramedics arrived within minutes. Maria knelt beside him, crying, repeating his name. The lead M checked his pulse, shook his head grimly, and began CPR. Cardiac arrest, let's move. Later that night, in the cold, humming corridors of the emergency department, a doctor explained to Maria that the combination of Viagra and Derek's antihypertensive medication had likely dropped his blood pressure to low, straining his already weakened heart. He was trying to impress me, Maria whispered, tears streaking her cheeks. He didn't need to do all that, I just wanted him. But it was too late, and Derek, once again, had ignored a warning, one his heart couldn't survive. If you enjoyed the story, subscribe, like, and turn on notification for more on the Medical Frontline Chronicles.